So up next, Cole Carter, fourth in the American League in batting average this year. And first offering is fouled off. No score here in the second. Next offering misses. One and one. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard <coughs> zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little right jumpy, a little excited, and expand the zone. Oh, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. That misses the zone. Two and one. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Book, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. The 2-2. Two -two. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. One gone runner at first. And now Colt Carter and Cleveland on top one zip. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Duran, the base runner at first with one out. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate, and the runner stays where he is. Here we go now. Come on now, one time. At the belt and fires. Hits softly on the ground to third. Goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Now batter, the catcher, James. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Kyle Manzardo. <laughs> this to center field. Carter drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, nobody on. Yandy Diaz now. 3 2 now. Out to center. Carter under it. And that is that. So in now for now Cleveland, now Colt Carter. Colt Carter. Carter measures six feet, two inches, only 20 years old. And he's the reigning American League Rookie of the Year. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he'll turn for second. Check that. He'll stop at first with a single after putting on the brakes. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. James McCann in now. Hey, get your pitch, huh? And there's a foul ball. Come on now, big dog. Get your pitch. Get back. Move to first. Oh. And he's back in there. Carter off of first with two away. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? That hey. one finds the corner. And that is strike two. Bradley over to first. And he dives back in safely. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Rayleigh makes the play, and that is that. The runs one. And now the center fielder, Josh Lowe. In the air, out to center, Carter moving under it. He's got it. Here comes the runner from third. Here comes the throw. The tag, and he's safe. We're tied at one. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Here's the catcher to hit, Christian Bethencourt. The 0-2. Out of line, out towards center. 
Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back now in Tampa Bay, all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the center fielder, Colt Carter. And a pitch. There's a strike. Adam goes six feet, three inches, 33 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. The Rosarena moving under it. He makes the grab. One down. Just pulled off of it a little bit. And your final 3 1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long from Tampa Bay. Colt Carter now at the plate. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. Ripped on a line. And there's one away. As we go to the top of the fourth, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Colt Carter. Carter. Springs back to work. And that's a base hit. Got a way to square it up. Great Got job. the top of the ball a little bit, but now not that much. That was hit pretty hard James. through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here is James McCann. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Right side. Margot settles under it. Makes the grab one down. Now batting the second baseman. On back to the top of the lineup. Jimenez. Here's Andres Jimenez. One for two. Hey, let's go now. One time. In there, and it's 0-1. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. Steal, steal. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Carter, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Pitch is in the dirt. It's a ball and two strikes. With two strikes, may see some movement over there. Runner on the go again. Tap to first. Uh-oh, wrong base as it goes to third. And, of course, everybody's going to be safe. Yikes. Fires to second for one. Manuel Margot up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. 1-2 to Margot. That's out to center field. Carter under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two down. The first baseman, number two. Here's a speed threat. Colt Carter. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, on, this ready. will help in his outings to come. Hard hit left side. They get the out. force. That's the third out. Guardian strand a couple. One down. <sighs> Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. That's hard hit in the line. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two down. We're at the top of the eighth. We stepping up for the Guardians. The Colt Carter. Field. Cool. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. Over to Diaz. One up, one down. Well, such a confidence. Colt Carter will hit next. Let's go. Give it a ride here. Let's go. And he drops it down the third baseline. And that's just foul. Deal one. On the ground to third. Tosses across the first. Two away. 
And here's the catcher, Rene Pinto. Chris Emanuel Classe has turned into one of the best closers in baseball, and he's got a nasty cutter. Originally signed by the Padres in 2017, but San Diego traded him to Texas. Eventually, he made his big league debut in 2019, was traded again, this time to Cleveland in the Corey Kluber deal. These guys today are so great at handling velocity. They're seeing high speed. Definitely one of the easiest saves you'll ever see. He only needed two pitches to get this one. Can be efficient, can attack the hitter. That's what the manager wants to see. That's what his teammates want to see. Nice W. Second inning, set to go. So in now for Cleveland, Colt Carter. Carter. And a pitch. Popped up. And a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. Next offering misses down and away. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff guys have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. And he deals. Bows it off, still one and two. Hey, let's go, big fella. And here it comes. Fly ball to right. Margot settles under it. And out number one on the grab. So digging in, now Colt that. Carter. And Cleveland on top Colt. once in. Carter. Hey, let's go, big fella. Ball, ball one. one, no strikes. Ball one, no strike. That's a little bit low. All right, one time, right here. Two and old to Cal. Here it comes. Good eye right there. Let's go, kid. Come on, one time, right here. On the ground, Caminero. The throw to first. That's out number three. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Doubled in his first A-B. Kicks and deals. In the air, center field. Carter under it. Pulls it in for the out. Throws to second. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And stepping in for the Rays, Christian Bethencourt. Nelson back to work. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Carter makes the catch, one down. Colt Carter digs in now. I see you driving. Let's go, big dog. Baz back to work. Ball one there. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hard ground ball, base knock. Boy, that was a lead. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. James McCann in now. A guy who's turned himself into a good framer. He was originally drafted by the Tigers. Second round pick in 11.
The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Ball misses. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. When you're trying to swipe a bag against an elite level arm behind the plate like this guy, you better get a great jump and hope that your speed can finish this job. That was a great jump right there. Really nice steal at second base. 1 1 to McCann. And McCann fouls it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The time run at the plate. Runner goes again. Uh, Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Wait, what did you say? No outs. Runner on second. The next offering misses. And the count's even at two. Runner on the move again. This one high in the air to left center. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. One out, the first runner at second. Two. And now the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Diaz. The pitch. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Two down. Up next for Tampa Bay. No left fielder. New inning getting started. Stepping up for the Guardians, Colt Carter. Beaks back to work. There's a strike at the knees. 1 1. Beaks in his sixth season. He features a changeup, a four seamer, a slider, and occasionally uses a cutter. And he'll two. Swing and a base hit. Come on, dig. Go hard. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Here is James McCann. One for three. First offering misses the mark. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Rudder takes off. That's in for a strike. Throw to third. He's safe. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. The Rosarena moving under it. And makes the grab. Runner tags for home. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. It's 6-3. to three. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series. You got another team coming in.